Hi, everybody. You're welcome to the AIT Free and Feminine Show. Uh, we're so glad to see you guys. Um, how was the weekend? How did you go through last week? We hope you're doing well. The people in the States, we hope you're keeping safe. Um, the people outside, we hope you're keeping safe too because we're still in the pandemic and all that's going on in the country. I hope that you guys are watching out for yourselves. You're watching out for your families. Please keep safe. Um, stay home if you have to. Um, if you're going out to protest and everything, stay safe and keep yourself safe because stuff is getting so bad out there. Um, anyways, uh, we're going to start the show. First and foremost, we have a guest today, a beautiful lady. And I think I'll have her introduce herself first before my other sisters. And yeah, we'll go on from there. So, hi lady, can you introduce yourself first, <laughs> our guest? Hi guys, um, first of all, thank you for having me on the show. I'm really honored to be here. Um, for those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Dion Nagadia, and I know, um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, my name is Dion Nagada, and I'm really excited to be on the show tonight. Okay, so my ladies, each one of you, who's going first to say hi to the people? Hey guys, um, this is Sonia. Um, I'm happy to be back. It just, I hope you guys like this <clears throat> today, and just be, be safe out there. Um, hey guys, my name is uh, Lona, as you all know. Um, yeah, Black Lives Matter always. Um, but as Sanyu and Bev and Dion says, just you'll be safe. Um, rather save a life than bury one. So, yeah. Hey guys, it's Priscilla. It's good to be back with you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy the show. And like everyone else said, um, you guys should stay safe. Um, before you do anything, just think about if it's worth it or not. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into our topic. Um, we have a very interesting topic today that I think really um, speaks to women mostly, especially of this age and especially, especially of like our age groups. There's this whole problem of like, the display on like social media of like these bodies and plastic surgery. And there's also this other side of where the working out is coming out all of a sudden and all these women are working out. But sometimes you look at their bodies and you're like, mm, I don't think she really worked out because you didn't even see the stages of her working out. But anyways, first and foremost, I'm gonna ask a question. Guys, um, would any of you go and um would any of you go and get plastic surgery? No. Uh, <laughs> for me personally, no. I mean it I feel like it all depends on what kind of surgery, on what type of like thing on your body, but honestly, no. Because you're just hurting yourself. Um yeah. And it looks mad painful. So to just go through all of that, mm -mm. for me now. Mm -hmm. Lona, what do you think? Um, I really would not would not do surgery because I'm comfortable with the way God shaped me. So, but yeah, I'm comfortable with the way God shaped me. Unless, unless obviously, like those people who have they don't have limits. You know, those people that have are really, really, really overweight and even exercise can't help them. Like they're over the pounds, like over like 700 or 800. They have to do bypass surgery, then I do agree. But other than that, no, I wouldn't do any surgery of any type. Free. Um, Did you get any kind of surgery? No, I'm fine with all the goodies on my body. I don't need any more added onto them. Um, so no, I would not especially not um, lipo. I mean, there's other ways of getting surgery without going under the knife, but with lipo, I feel like before you give birth, it's kind of not, it's not a good idea. Cause just looking at how rough it is and whether it's this, like you're scrubbing your toilet or something in your body, I just, it just doesn't look right. 
Just so that how do you go under surgery without going under the knife? Plastic surgery is not just surgery. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not just <coughs> knife. It can, you can get your body done without having to do like the whole going under the knife. Oh yeah, yeah, like the injection. Just, yeah, or the like these um like they use the um lasers to like sculpt your body. Yeah, and also the body um freezing or whatever they call it. Yeah, but that yeah. kind of stuff. If I'm not giving birth yet, I don't know. It kind of looks risky. Honestly, me, I think I'd do some kind of surgery just. You know, just for just, especially after like I've had kids, to you know explore my, you know, my resources and you know, but, but I'm kind of open minded about the whole thing. I'm not really like against against. Like there's some cases where yeah. people need surgery. <clears throat> sometimes people need the surgery, and sometimes people just do it just for just. Um. So this. Instagram models. Does any of you have any like Instagram model you admire? Myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking about like the ones that are like one. <laughs> on the internet. Are you on the internet? Um, I mean, is it Zoom internet? Zulona. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. We just started. <laughs> I don't mean, know. Um, for me, starting yeah. out, like I used to look at a lot of um a lot of Instagram models, but mm -hmm. as time went by, I kind of stopped. And just because of, um, I feel like there's a lot of false, um, is it advertisement? There's a lot of uh, false advertisement as uh, to their bodies mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And also just society trying to, and comparing like all oh, women like, oh, why don't you look like her and stuff like that. And yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you think about um like weight loss products like the pills, the drinks? Um I'll take all of them, the natural and the artificial ones. It depends. Um, I think when, when people use them, I think they overexcite, you know, like let's go to the tea bags. <clears throat> people have this thing of like, oh, tea bags, most of those Chinese tea bags. Yes, they, mm -hmm. they, they can do a good job, but they take out all your um <laughs> electrolytes they they can give you um anemia they can give you all sorts of health problems if you keep mm -hmm. taking it because it, it it does not say it but you just have to take a tea bag like once every two weeks not like every day in a week after eating something it's it's actually gonna come on your it's gonna stress stress something on your on your body and people who take this that the tea bags every night and then they wake up and go run and then they're like yo i feel like fainting because that thing just stresses all your blood you know there's something yeah. that's pulling for the pills um i don't know anyone who's <clears> taking <throat> pills for like weight loss that I, I i really can't speak of but um but i do the the research that i know about dieting pills i wouldn't advise anyone to do it because obviously like i said in the long run it's not gonna be good for you yeah that's very true um i'll just speak about it because i've literally almost tried everything like since i was a kid i've always had like weight um issues because like i always people always be like oh you're too big now and then i'll be like stop eating and then i go so smart people will be like oh no now you're so small what's what's happening and stuff like that so um like as i grew up i did start to like use all this different stuff and especially on the pills definitely i would not advise anyone to use them I mean, at least first ask your doctor and stuff like that. But I would not advise anyone to use them. Like the kiddos. Like I've used um, three different types of keto pills. And all of them are so, Whoa. so bad. The last one that I used, it even, like I used it for about a week. And it, it gets like, um, it takes away your appetite. And once it does that, you will not eat a lot. And then you'll be depending on the pills. And once and once um, that happened, like I started to get like, like for almost a week. And I was so scared. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened with it. I've tried like three different ones. And also the tea bags and all those stuff. Now that also this um new is it patch the the new patches where you put on your stomach they're like oh in a week you're gonna be like i've tried everything and i'm like it's just like i said before like false 
um, false advertisement because like I, I believe that it just brainwashes people because yeah. um, those pills or whatever, all it takes for you to lose weight for, for what I believe is that it's working out and eating right. And when they advertise um, all these pills and all these um, all these pills and teas and whatever, they always tell you to follow the, the, the diet. They always tell you it's not going to work without you eating right. So it just brainwashes people to think that um, their products are working. And they use all these celebrities like the Instagram models and stuff like that to advertise these things. And, and they don't even use them. Like the Kim Kardashian video. <laughs> yeah, like that. Oh. She did not even take... The, yeah. the the slim tea that she was making for people and she got paid like half a million dollars for that so i mean eh. she didn't even know how to eat. she was like so they tell us to put how much water in it just to take pictures <clears throat> just drink so people can see yeah um, and also with that to waist trainers i'm not saying Lana. Waist Lana. let me first hear what pre has to say pre and Sanya have to say about the pills um I wouldn't advise anyone to take them because um, mm -hmm. first of all, if you're taking a pill and it makes you feel nauseous or you feel like you shouldn't be eating, then that's not right. Because weight loss, I don't think is about like, or like having to throw up or binge and like, you know, binge eating and then you throw up. I feel like it's more about eating right. Like you can still eat your favorite foods, just know how to balance them. Like the pill, first of all, it's not dependable because you're not going to be taking a pill for the rest of your life. If it's working mm -hmm. for you, um, the second you get off it, chances are the weight is going to come back anyway. So you're better off getting into a routine, like a workout routine and learn how to eat clean because that is more like dependable and it's going to last. It's durable, but quick fixes are not durable. At yeah. some point, okay. at some point you're going to get tired of feeling nauseous all the time. Yeah. Definitely. Tanya, what do you think? I feel like taking pills regardless is not the best way to go. Honestly, for if you really want to, you know, lose the weight or do what you need to do, you just have to do it, which is exercise. And like, I agree with everyone that you have to eat right and put yourself on a schedule that's that you are know that you're going to do and continue on if that's your goal. Um, yeah, you take medications, you're going to depend on it. And then your body's going to keep telling you you should take it and you don't want to like and then you start getting addicted to something that now is not helping you you're probably even adding more weight than what you were trying to lose so overall just don't do any pills that have to do with helping you lose weight because it doesn't help okay i think i feel like um like always, I like to have like an open mindedness about these things. I feel like if you should use these things, you should do other things too. Maybe if they should like help you, because I know a lot of people that have used like I know somebody that has used um the the tea, some kind of tea, and they were actually also doing like they were trying to eat clean, they were working out, and it was helping. But of course, like Lona said. They weren't like taking it every single day. Like some people forced it. They want to take it. They want to take like three tea bags in a day, which of course mm -hmm. is not good for you because it's something foreign. But the person was using them and they were <clears throat> having like a clean lifestyle and they actually started looking good. Yeah. But, but yeah, also, I think it's like, huh? No, you can go ahead. I, I think it's, um, I think it's just using them the right way and not abusing them and mm. also trying to do yourself a service like taking care of yourself actually like naturally and not depending on other things for your body dion yeah. what were you saying i was gonna say um yeah like it's good to like have an open mind what you were saying that um if you start to use like these teas and stuff like that like it you must be reasonable like losing weight is not just gonna happen like like within a week or something you're going to lose like 50 pounds and stuff like that but i feel like also women at times like are put under a lot of pressure like after giving birth you know like some women are blessed some women like after giving birth she'll be like mm, back to her body and then some women like take some time and then sometimes like you have pressure from like the society be like oh why don't you look like this anymore and stuff like that so i'm um, gonna put on um very 
they're put on pressure to lose the weight quickly. So I feel like sometimes it makes them go at, go crazy with the pills and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, Lana, you were starting something to do with West trainers. Um, I think West trainers are just like, you know, in a way of they're good for you. They shape you up. But don't believe a West trainer that you're going to leave it on the whole the whole day. A required use of a West trainer is six to eight hours. Now, I've seen females where they use the West trainer 24 hours. They sleep with it. They walk with it. After a shower, they still put it on, right? And I hope mm-hmm. you watch it. But the shape is there, but they don't know that they're ruining the lungs. They don't know that they're ruining. There's something in, in, in their body that's ruining. Like, I know you guys have heard of people on Gaba Gamba. Nah, don't, don't use West trainers. It's, it's going to ruin your intestines, your lungs, whatever. It does if you use it like that. Like, if you 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 wake up, West trainer. Work out, West trainer. Take a shower, West trainer. The whole day, West trainer. Oh, Where at? Yeah. <laughs> whereas, whereas if you just actually use it just like in a powerful workout if you're like running four miles you use it you get the switch you take it off you know yeah okay so what about this if you wear this waist trainer for six you know eight hours of the day do what you have to do you know you're on your feet so basically if you're going to work and you're on your feet and you know you're going back and forth, back and forth. The minute you reach home, you take it off, you know, you do your shower and you just don't have it on until the next day. That's still fine too, right? Yeah. yeah. Just don't worry any longer than eight hours and do not sleep in it. Then you should be fine after that. Like how would people even sleep in it? You're like losing your situation <laughs> already as it is. Like, Yeah. Okay, so what's trainer, I'm not going to mention that actually, oh, oh what's trainers, they, they require you if you want the shape you need to wear it and actually sleep in it. And I know a female who's who who wears it and actually her shape it's it's forming. But the thing is, you're trying to you're trying to share the secret or not? It's it's yeah. the thing is that's the thing. We need, that, we need, we need the secret. I think it's slim, but that's it. Right problems. You feel me? Like because she's always she's always has the West trainer, and also she always tells me people use West trainers because of um food. Like if you're trying to eat like if if you if you eat so much food. Right, a West trainer can help you actually because it's holding you. You can be like, "Oh, I'm full." Actually, that's why it's called a West trainer to kind of like also limit on like what you eat. Your food. Yeah. Yeah, and also just follow the rules on the way uh, on the waist trainers because they, I I I believe they also give um some skin rashes and stuff like that. So just always try to wear them on like on top of like a cloth or something like in a vest. Right. Yeah, because yeah. they, they, they give you this rushes and stuff. So, yeah. I want to ask a question. Guys, be honest. You know how, like, the Amber Roses, the Black Chinese post those things? Has any of you ever been tempted to order some of that stuff? Like, the waist trainers and everything? I own a waist trainer. Yeah. And the I also own a waist trainer. The waist I work trainer out with a waist trainer. Like anything else <laughs> that has to do with her products? No. Yeah, the pills? No. Bleaching? Like, <laughs> Like just being tempted, like you're like, damn. No, I, I don't I, I order. Can try it. Nah, the reason why I don't order black chain and amber rose, those people have gone through a knife. They're, those people, they're, yeah. they're endorsing them for money. The person, the only person I go through with is Kisha Core. Why? It's not because she has a good West. I've seen multiple people wear her West trainer and they actually lose with her West trainer and her thyroid. So that's why I actually really? I have to buy this West trainer when I'm working out. Is it on it's Amazon? I should order. Went, didn't she like go under the? Didn't she go back on the knife? I feel like she also did, did go under the knife. That's what I'm saying. But I'm That's saying not, for, not, not for Black China, for Black China numbers, I've not seen someone physically use them. But for Kisha Core, oh, okay. I've seen a lot of people around my circle use it, and actually, I've seen results by using the Kisha Core West trainer. That's Gucci's wife, right? Yeah. yeah. This whole time I've been thinking it's yeah. Kisha Cole. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've been Kisha going here. Oh yeah, that oh now I know her. Yeah. Mm. Me very honestly, tiny I've been waist. tempted. Me, I've been tempted. I mean hers I'm, I have been tempted, yeah. <laughs> but I never like I don't know, for some reason I'll just be there and I'm like, eh. I've tried the tea, but I failed to use it too because you know, I just get lazy and I forget. So it's, I feel like it's just a force. I don't know how these people actually even go through with using those things. 
When I'm buying waist stuff like that, I usually don't buy from celebrities because chances are someone else is endorsing them to sell those things and they're not using them or they could afford to go under a knife or they can afford a professional nutritionist and like a professional trainer. So on top of that waist trainer or on top of that pill, they have someone professionally helping them with their specific body needs. So if I'm using, I do own a waist trainer and it, it, it is working for me. I can see like results, but I bought it from like, it's not a celebrity because I, I, um, I know someone else that got it and they look superb, like superb. Every, like each time someone sees them, they're like, no one can believe they look like that. And then I asked them and come to find out the waist trainer I own. I, I actually just bought the waist trainer like two weeks before I, like, I saw them. And they told me that's what they used. And since I can see someone like real life results, someone who like I see almost <laughs> every other day and she like, it's, it's one of my workmates and she like looks good. And I know where she came from and I know what she looks like now that I have living proof that it actually works. But something Amber Rose uses, I don't have like, proof that it actually works i don't know if like she's paying or she's being paid to advertise that and she's not even using that actual waist trainer she's using another waist trainer to get the results but i feel like i feel like um it also comes from like the pressure for women to do such stuff because there's been this kind of like this picture that has been painted of like the perfect girl she has to have the waist and of course the guys want to have a, a, a female that looks like Amber Rose, a female that looks like Black China with the waist and the ass. So, so many people, so many females and so many girls are pulled to, um, to want to look like them. What do you guys think about that? I mean, if, if a guy wants you to look like, honestly, Amber Rose and Black China, yeah we do exercise what people don't get and that shit pisses me off is that you can ask someone why are you doing exercise oh because because like my guy is fit so I, I have to be on the same level no do it for yourself like at the right. end of the day it's like about you because your guy might be fit and everything but you might have an underlying issue in the in the long run right their, their family stuff that are, are around your family you might be carrying that. So just do like exercise for yourself. Now, if your guy comes up and says, I want you to be like Black China, and, and <coughs> I do feel like you should tell him you want him to be like someone also greater. You feel mm-hmm. me? Someone mm-hmm. that's like, so everything, like ripped up. You feel mm-hmm. me? Someone should love you as the way you are. Yeah. Right. And guys are so very um, opinionated about women's bodies, even though we never say anything. But I feel like there are some. Uh, opinionated about women's bodies and how they are like wanting to them to look like the Bakim Kardashian with the toothpick leg and then your ass all the way there and uh, it, you know it's crazy like if you're gonna want a woman with the butt she's gonna come with the tummy and stuff like you're losing weight is a balance you cannot just lose your stomach and then keep the rest of the stuff like it's hard that's why they choose to get to um go um for surgeries and stuff like that yeah. If you're gonna, if you want to lose weight, you know you're gonna have to lose something. Like you can't keep your big boobs. No, it's gonna <laughs> shrink because you're losing the weight. You can't keep your butt. Like you know, people like those. They just want to. They don't want to sacrifice anything. They want to keep. You know, bringing in something that they love, which is some people who go to surgery for. So. I mean, in re- in all reality, we know like men, just like women, whether or not we're going to admit it on live TV, you do look at people online and you're like, mm, he's fine or mm, she's fine. But as right. long as yeah. they keep it there, like as long as you keep it on social media, you see a girl, you're like, oh, she's fine. And you don't bring those expectations back to your girl. You can't control what they look at. They can't control what we look at. We cannot control what they look at. So if it's going to look and, you know, she's fine, ooh, like, you know, she looks good. Do you. That's your opinion. But the respectful thing is not to bring it back and put it on your girl. Like, put those expectations on your girl. Because at the end of the day, women look to, I mean, I don't know if there's women who do it, but I barely, like, I doubt that women would look at a, a guy and be like, oh, I want you to look like this. Or, you know, hmm, you'd look good if you look like this person. Something that men will do subliminally. <clears throat> and if a man is doing that with you, then hmm, something's not right. In the, in the long run, you're 
give birth, he's not gonna be there. The exactly. third, the birth weight. Yeah. You know, You're better off yeah, having yeah. someone that will look online and acknowledge that, yeah, they do look online, but at the end of the day, they like you the way you are. They love you the way you are. Because guess what? That's how they met you. Right. Yeah, and, and losing weight takes time. Like, this high effectiveness of just having to lose uh, 20 pounds in, a, in a, a week or whatever. Like, it takes time. It's a process. And for some people, like, it takes them long. It depends on your body. Like, for some people, it takes longer. Some, it doesn't. But... Um, there's so much high expectations for women to have like those weird looking bodies out there on the internet and i believe that i mean i feel like almost every woman out there like that we see on social media and stuff they're all just starting to look the same it's crazy yeah. Khloe kardashian looks biracial right now yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh she looks so bad literally she looks like I a know. cartoon Exactly. But I feel bad for that family right now. I used to love them. I, I honor them, but as of right now, it's <clears> just <throat> that whole family is just plastic. Apart from their kids, but everyone else is just plastic. Completely. Yeah, definitely. But I, do, I do feel like um what Dion said, yes, losing weight weight takes time. And I wish these people because this celebrity is done all that females most females actually are looking up to them so i wish they really told a female the truth that someone to lose weight the natural weight is one pound a week because a pound is hard to lose calorie yeah. deficit you know so it's, it's 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 all about like what you're putting in your body what you're eating if you decide i'm just gonna eat non um non-gmo or like just a, a chicken or like salmon with with a lot of vegetables and everything decide that or even you you can be eating what you've been eating but at the end of the day like what are you doing like are you running are you walking are you r- riding a bike kind of like that but i feel like females should know even males if you lose five pounds a week that thing is gonna come back to be real that is yeah, not because it's you can check it anywhere in in a week a normal person has to lose one pound and it's and then it's hard to lose that one pound if you're e- actually eating right. And you'll see if someone is losing weight, they won't have stretch marks. They'll have like more muscle than stretch marks. Stretch marks are natural though. I see like a lot of fitness people with stretch marks. Yeah, but I'm yeah, saying like, fitness people. Like for example, like my professor who's a who's a who's a trainer, she was telling us that to know for for her how she knows her females are losing weight in a bad way in the past is like they have stretch marks right here and when she asked them they're like oh we weren't eating we're starving ourselves and everything whereas if they put in muscle work or some exercise that helps them build and also eat right because because protein kind of also builds up some stuff in in, in your body you there's mm-hmm. some there's some way how those stretch marks actually will live naturally oh that's a new thing. I didn't know that you can actually tell when somebody has used like the harsh ways to lose weight or they have actually done it the, like gradually. That's something new. But um, I don't know. Does anyone have something to say about the weight loss? And the plastic um, surgery? Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, just uh, people try not to listen to so many judgmental people like um losing weight is a process and it's okay sometimes to go have a donut it's okay sometimes to go have your um uh, mcdonald's and stuff like it happens like that's why they're there but then uh, yeah eat right work out as much as you can like just do something that makes you happy like don't listen to so many people like everybody has their own weight journey that's why uh, most of the people have different uh, types of diets like some people are not gonna have the, they all want different bodies so like some people are not gonna have the same diet um because we're all different sizes we all want to be different sizes we all want we all want, want to look um different so yeah just just love yourself and um yeah don't listen too much to people like it's okay to have slip up sometimes like yeah to just stop um judging people on how they eat and stuff like that yeah um for you guys that actually know these things um can you like give people <clears throat> some tips of like losing weight the right way because it's one thing talking about telling people not to do this and that and that but do you have any solutions to you know to um, the, the, other, the other thing i was gonna say to those who want to run i'm a runner i love running um to those who want to run don't use a treadmill I, i'll tell you and um, <laughs> 
I learned this um, in military that a treadmill, it'll tell you you've run two miles, but you've, you've actually not, not actually, you've not been running two miles. So when you get on the track and let's say you have a test for two miles, it will be harder for you to actually pass those two miles because a treadmill is more slower, right? You rather run like on like a, around a lake or a pond. But anyway, the best app to use if you want to run is Nike running app. They, they are coaches that guide you. You can do 10 minutes, 15 minutes, every step they'll kind of guide you and also tell you like what you're doing wrong and what you're doing. You feel me like, right. So you can get better each day. Wow. Yeah, and that, they're all different types of workouts. Like you can go dance, you can go running, you can do squats, like you can do like a lot of stuff. You can do weight training. Yeah, so. I feel like, you, yeah, do what something that makes you um, happy. Like I would say doing jumping jacks or, you know, doing bike riding, stuff like that. Don't do like you can do it for about I'm going to say an hour as you normally would ride and just put maybe go a little longer or go drive it around town or stuff um there's like so many things you can do apart from just go to the gym everyone just thinks that the gym is you know oh yeah that's where I'm gonna lose <laughs> weight that's where I'm gonna get the motivation because I'm seeing everyone else no do you know yeah you go there and you see other people working out but then you look at yourself. I don't know if it's just me, but you know, when you go to the gym, you got this big mirror and you just look at someone who's probably lifting up weights, maybe a couple blocks from you. And you look at them <laughs> and then you look at yourself and you're like, Mm-mm. You know what I'm <laughs> I don't know if you had that motivation. Like, yeah, you know, like, you know how he's like, Her, and you're like, yeah, I got this. And you're like, I really don't got this. Like you're trying yeah. to show them, like I can lift too. You know what I'm saying? But you really can't lift. You know, you could probably lift like a five pound. Don't force yourself because you see someone else do it. Like do it because you want to do it. I've there's times where for me I've lost weight because I've been people have been telling me, go do it. You know, you're too pretty to be fat, or you're too pretty to do this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, but it's my body. Sometimes I'm happy the way I am. I can do anything. If you tell me to ride a bike, I can ride a bike for you. If you tell me to jump high, I will jump high. It's just the way I am, my body structured is, I can still do it. I just choose not to. I can, I eat healthy, you know, like you can't, people, they just don't understand and which it really sucks. Yeah. So I feel like that's well, I feel like um yeah, going back to what Sonia is saying, not everyone is the same in the first place. Yeah. Um people's bodies are different. So of course you don't expect everybody to have a Tayana Taylor body, you know. There are people that are like way bigger than Tiana Taylor that could be as fit as her. So I think it's just living a healthy lifestyle and like keeping yourself in check and just watching out for yourself because you can know when your body is not feeling right. You feel it. However much the appearance looks bigger than another person, you feel your body. You feel that you're feeling good. And if you're not feeling good, you also know it. So just keep yourself healthy, I think, and just know that you're doing the right thing. Yeah, and also with the eating part, like you're not so obligated to just eat salads. Like there are different types of nice foods that you can make that are healthy. Because I feel like those, like losing weight, like people expect you to be like, oh, no, you have to be eating a salad and stuff. Like there are good foods that you can make that are healthy and you can eat it well and you can enjoy it. So yeah, also look out for that. Just work out and eat foods that make you happy as well. And salads, sure. people think that they have um, um, thing, um, calories, but it's just water. So you really yeah. have something that gives you energy. Yeah, there are good foods out there. Like, just make, like, good choices, balance the diet, enjoy what you're eating. Because you're going to start eating a salad, and then after a week, you're going to be, like, off. Because, like, it's not, totally, it's not making I've you been totally off. You'll, you know, like, honestly, experience. <laughs> Having a salad is good. Don't get me wrong. It's I like it, 
but having it all the time and then you see someone who's having a slice of pizza and you're like damn i'm on a diet like i can't have a slice you know what i'm saying you will you will have like you'll be like okay but then you show people like you're you know you're eating healthy you go behind closed doors and you start eating something else and then you eat it 10 times worse than what you were doing you know what I'm yeah. so it's like find something like you guys said find something you guys love to eat put put the ingredients a little bit more healthier not add too much of what is going to make you gain more weight yeah Most because this is like a lifestyle change it's not just change for like uh, for two, for the two weeks that you want to lose those two pounds it's like you're cha- you're changing your whole lifestyle so I, I believe like the the eating part is very important that you eat what you can enjoy yeah pre do you have something to say <clears throat> um on top of what everyone already said um i was just going to say for the men um or women if you're someone that makes your partner or makes someone else they don't have to be your partner feel um uncomfortable for their body image um do better like if you're in a relationship and you're one of these people that like to compare or like you look at models and bring those expectations back to your girl do better because you wouldn't want her looking at men's dick sizes and bringing them back to you so um just do better and just women just be confident Cause just at least if you're not if you don't have faith in yourself, just have confidence in the fact that chances are half the people you're being compared to have faith, either booty or stomach or something. And if you want to make the change, start. If you feel like you're fine the way you are, good. Like don't feel pressured to look a certain type of way. That's something I just learned. Cause I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, there was a point in my life when I was like, oh my god, I have to look like this. Da da da. This person thinks this. This person thinks this. But it comes, I guess it comes with edge, but you come to, you like, there comes a point in life where, like, you just have to be comfortable with who you are. Otherwise, you're going to, like, lead yourself down, like, a negative path of feeling negative about yourself, like, being insecure and depressed. And nobody deserves to have that much power over you. So mm-hmm. be confident in you. That's it. Guys, anybody has something to say? Um, apart from this weight stuff, um, I'm just begging everyone with this protest stuff. I understand the whole the whole thing of it. And I understand, um, you know, like Black Lives Matter and mass. Yes, we, we do have certain crimes, but it's, it's, it's not worse as the South. But I feel like that whole loading and everything, people trying to do all that type of stuff. Guys, just don't do it. Um, I, I, I serve as well, and we had to do a whole lot of work today. It's us who had to clean up that stuff on the streets. So just like if you know like your friends are doing all that type of stuff, just try to advise them. Stay home and just and just stay safe because it's more peaceful when you do a protest than actually being violent and also people more people are getting killed more. It doesn't like send a message out there that we're trying to send. Okay. Um. Do any of you ladies have the, a last thing to say? Oh, before we get done, guys, you need to follow Dion. Please follow Dion. Um, her show, she has a very good show, a sports show. You know, ladies doing sports, it's not a it's not a thing to see a woman trying to do something to do with like a show of sports. So please go support her. Her Facebook page is um it's Dion Nagadja, right? Yeah. Yes. And yeah, please go add her, follow her and support her page, please. Thank you. Yeah. Um guys, do you have anything uh, else to say before we finish? I'm just excited that we're about to get back to normal. We're not going <laughs> to be in this quarantine no more. I get to see people face to face, but I have my mask on. Um, yeah, and I do agree with Lona, please. I know black lives do matter and we are black. We love it. We can't change it. Um, please stop ruining the cities. Like we get it. We're trying to get a point across, but vandalizing the stuff we have built is not going to get anywhere. It's you, you're just making it worse. So just be safe out there. We love you. Yeah, just be safe out there. Stop looting um, 
all these stores and stuff because at the end of the day tomorrow you're going to want to go to that place and people have worked so hard to build um the stores at, at at the point that they are right now so um yeah and also just keep safe out there and yeah look out for your friends look out for, for your family and yeah somebody pre um again like everyone else said um i wouldn't honestly i wouldn't advise people to go to the protests because you can still sign a petition you can donate money to help them afford um their lawyers or afford bailouts for the protesters but going to the protest chances are first of all you're going to come back with covid secondly chances are you're going to get arrested or you're going to get hurt and it's not worth it so you're better off signing a petition or donating like five dollars to help bail out people who have been like, you know, arrested as opposed to destroying stuff or getting yourself hurt or in prison. Cause the police out here are not playing. And the president just called us thugs and they're just proving him right. By doing that, you're just like, you know, fitting into his narrative of, you, you see, I told you they're just thugs. So arrest them and like, it's just not worth it. Sign a petition, pay, like donate money. Don't don't go to protests because you're gonna get hurt, or you're gonna be put in an impossible situation where you have to do something you probably should have no business doing. So just be safe, guys. Okay, Lana, I said something, right? Yeah, but all of us have have to go for a, a run all together, group run, the free and family. Yes. Yeah. Five miles. Yeah. Five miles. 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 <laughs> Definitely, you know. If God helps us, we'll get there. <laughs> By the grace of God. All right, guys. Dion, thank you so much for being part of the show. If you can, thank please you for having me here. Um, we'll have a longer show if we start earlier. Um, today time is we're running out of time because people have to go and do other things. But I hope we have a longer show next week. And if you're always welcome to come, um, you're always welcome to be a part of us. And to our viewers, to my sisters, thank you so much for always being here. To the viewers, thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for liking the page and following. And please share this video everywhere. And please stay safe. COVID is still there and it's still real and it kills. So stay safe and stay safe with the protests um there's a lot going on in the world right now that i don't know too much is going on i i just heard that ebola is coming back to that ebola is back so guys okay what out, stay i'm safe. just trying to see what july is gonna bring because so we are free from coronavirus eh you're not free no, from corona. Not. Now you just we're have not. added Ebola to you. Your there are found cases of Ebola in Congo. <laughs> so, guys, stay safe, please. Keep yourself at safe. Home. Uh, yeah, stay at home. We were so just close to getting bailing out, man. Keep out of trouble. Um. Anyways, uh, we shall see you guys next week. Have a blessed week and stay safe and take care. Bye. Bye-bye.